All right, hello and welcome back to the Fishbowl 89 YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I know it has been a long time since I've posted anything other than a live. We are going to get back on a decent schedule, I promise. Point is, we're playing Bendy in the Dark Revival. Uh, my computer crashed, lost my save file, have to start again. I'm gonna do it on normal. Um, I'm a huge fan of Bendy. I played this chapter once already. I went back and watched it and it was very, very cringe and it seemed very much as if I was bullshitting my reaction and like, oh my god, I'm so scared, I'm so startled right now. Uh, genuinely, I do not like horror stuff. I really like the animation, that's what got me into it. I watched um, Jack Septicai play the game, it got me really into it, the original game obviously. And that's why I really like Bendy and want to play Bendy. And I'm a big fan of the franchise. But I am not a horror person. I do not like that shit. So, I'm going to try to not sound so... In this video. Especially because I know what to expect now. But, yeah. I do not and have not ever faked my reactions. And this should be a better video. I don't remember exactly what happens because it's been a while. I meant to get back to this game a lot sooner. Uh, it depends on how much time it takes. I'm going to try to do the first two chapters today. We're at least going to redo the first one because I need to since it got deleted. And more importantly because... Well, there goes my phone. Uh, yeah, I did not... I cannot watch back that video, so if it was that bad for me, I can only imagine how shit it was for you guys. So here we go. Bendy and the Dark Revival, one of my favorite series of all time. There's Alice Angel and Boris. E to stand. Here we go. Locate the elevator. Yeah, I don't know if the game's been updated or what. Um, her cinnamon roll hair seems bad, but her eyes are pretty nice. They did a good job on this player model. I think I was joking around a little too much last time. Um, why is that more creepy than a regular bendy face? That doesn't even make sense. I was also going really slow taking my time trying to find any possible little treasure to complete the um, achievements. I'll not be doing that, that this time. Let's just try to play the game. Alright, so I'm pretty sure something jump scares us here right away. That wasn't bad. I don't know. <laughs> Personally, if I'm here alone, who put this here? I would have just brought my key with me. I mean, yeah, you didn't expect anybody to lock the door, but still, like, I don't know. I don't know. That just seems weird. It's a weird start, in my opinion. I don't like that the action key is E either. Whoa, what was that? I can search this. Okay. Hello. Is this Joey Drew? No. Nathan Arch. I don't remember who Nathan Arch is in the story. You can tell I'm a big fan. Nothing. Is there no purpose in searching these? Well, unlock. Hello? 
someone there? I think I missed a jump scare. Well, I feel like something's gonna happen in this elevator. I think I remember something specifically happening in this elevator. I think something lame happens, like the game the game actually drags your character forward or something. Something like that. Oh yeah, this creepy motherfucker. Okay, so I can appreciate the, like, creepy man vibe that they're going for here. Now he's just, like, giving her unnecessary compliments. But, like, he was not phased at all by that. And even if shorts had been genuinely occurring, the fact that that happened in a storm late at night and he had no reaction, I mean, that clearly means he had a part of it. What am I supposed to do? I just wait here? Oh, talk. Archgate pictures, so that's who the arch guy was. Oh, so they're continuing. Alright, that's clearly just Walt Disney right there. A banjo. I remember this. That's cool. So he clearly wants to summon Bendy. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet. So this is two statements here on just like <laughs> tropes that games do. Okay, first, having the person just sit there and tend to something while you have to go do it, you have to come up with a better excuse than that because he's clearly not doing anything. Like just based on how electricity works, what could he be doing right now? 
There's literally nothing he could be doing. Okay? So that's stupid. Secondly, this callback right here. This is very interesting. I do kind of like that we're doing this again. But at the same time, like, maybe don't have it so early on. I'm guessing you have to initiate Bendy the same way with the ink machine, blah, blah, blah. But come on, like, that's just copy and paste in your games. And there was so much excitement for this. And it finally comes out and we're immediately doing the same thing. I don't know. I, I love this story. I don't want this game to go away. I hope there's a third. Well, technically, this is the third game. I hope there is a fourth game by these creators. I love Bendy the character. I think this is super fun. And I'm not a horror person, so for me to be thinking that this is fun is really a big statement of praise on my end. But yeah, come on. I actually own this book. My brother bought me this book for my birthday. Let's see, what else do we got? I do like that everything was pretty close together, but that also, like, sets the story backwards. How was somebody messing with the exhibit and yet just left everything right here in the open? How far back do we need to go? We need six things, I believe. I have four of those six. Well, I don't even remember what we all need. It's a wrench. The doll. Alright, you know, we might as well just start placing them so I can not get confused about what we have. The inkwell. The book. I think the doll is the only thing. Oh, and the sprocket. Never mind. Yeah. Can't possibly forget having to pull that out of Boris's chest. Alright, so all we need is a doll and a sprocket. And the sprocket looks like it was behind that thing, that cabinet door that has the sprocket on it. Yeah. I don't know why it didn't give me the option to search it earlier. And I appreciate, probably because we're on the medium level, on hard, I assume it doesn't have the <laughs> icon saying, hey, it's in here, stupid. But even on normal, come on, that that's a bit ridiculous, man. Especially because it's so close. Like, if it was around the corner or something. Okay. Alright, I mean, that's clearly not mud. So, like... The fuck? And the doll isn't over here. You can't go back there, so the doll has to be somewhere going forward. I mean, I tried to pick this up already. Okay, I do believe the first game, it was more of an action figure and not a doll. I don't believe he had movable parts. He's very ragdolly. His head doesn't even stay up. His arms and legs are individual assets. I'm pretty sure that's the only difference. And I don't think the book was the illusion of living in the first game either. I think it was a different pamphlet or something you had to get. Sacrifice. Oh, it is done. Wilson? Oh, all trees. The things you set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention. 
What's happened to you? All right, I don't remember the lore entirely. Okay. Um so I'm not sure what character this is supposed to be. I'll need to go refresh it, but the problem is I didn't want to refresh Anything that could possibly spoil what's about to happen. Okay, so I need those rungs of the ladder. Bacon soup. This is also something that makes no sense. Like, okay, I get we had to find the rungs as... Just a way to make the game a little bit longer, show the searching system, because some players may have not seen that yet. But, uh, who the fuck, and how the fuck, would you just remove two rungs and then keep them in the same drawer? It's so random. I don't mean to be critical of this game. This is not a bendy bashing moment. This is just a video games in general who do weird shit like this all the time. Something's on top of this ladder, isn't it? Well, that's terrifying, but not a jump scare. Wilson. See the crouch, because that's convenient. Oh man, that freaked me out. Sounded like footsteps. I'm sure some horror aspect is coming soon, some jump scare or something. I don't remember too much from what I played. Okay, that is the jump. I fucking hate horror games. I don't know why I'm fucking playing this. It's so much more fun just to watch somebody else play it. That fucking got me. You fucking pussy bitch. I hate you. I'm glad you're dead. I hope you fucking suffered. I fucking hate you, you stupid bitch. Woo! <clears throat> anyway. Didn't lose my composure there at all. Um, in no way whatsoever. Am I predicting to fall off of that? Um, also, in no way whatsoever, am I predicting that I'm about to have an I Am Legend reenactment where the fucking cat scares the shit out of him? Because I'm already on edge. My neck hair is definitely tickling everything around me. Yes, it's that long. 
This fucking piece of shit right here, I swear to God, if he comes to life, like, just, I'm done with the game. If he comes to life and gets me from behind, I'm done with the fucking game right there. It will be that quickly. We're going to fall back down here. I know we are. I don't know if I remember it or just I predicted it. I don't know, but, like, here it fucking comes. No? Well, then, let me go listen to that. No fall damage. Is he gone? Oh, you cock loving bastard. I regret coming down here. I was so much happier not knowing that. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Alright, so, little fucking piece of shit, little butcher gang asshole. Clearly alive. Clearly going to scare me. Um. <sighs> Why? I don't want to. God damn it, dude. Why am I playing this game? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it sounded really cringe and terrible last time, but that was a genuine reaction. I am having to go out of my way to not sound like a little fucking bitch right now. I'm <laughs> putting all my effort forward to not be like, ooh, this is scary. I'm so startled. God damn it, Bendy. Why you gotta do this to me? Okay, so he's gonna come out of that vent, yeah? Do it. Do it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Why am I playing this fucking game alone? <sighs> God damn it, dude. I'm not a fan of this shit. What happened? I don't even know what happened. Oh my God, dude. Oh, I hate this shit. <laughs> this is not for me. I'm not a fan of this. Um, is this the angel and devil path from the first game? God damn it, dude. Okay, this is the same workshop. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> Whew. This is why <laughs> you will not see me playing any other horror game ever. This is just so not for me. I cannot stress enough how brutally honest <laughs> this is not for me. Oh my god, look at her hands. Disgusting. All right. Why is Edgar? Okay, so two questions. A, the predominant features should be Bendy and Boris, not two of the ben, uh, two of the Butcher Gang. But why is Edgar separated from Charlie? I don't know their names. Charlie and... Barley? Alright. Here we go. Shit is clearly going down here. What do I have to do?
All right, so it even auto saves right there. Uh, so I gotta fucking run back down there. Here it comes. He's gonna fucking scare me. It's gonna be that same piece of shit that was once dead, allegedly. Here it comes. Kablow. Okay. So what do I do? Run and hide. Run and hide. Run and hide. I'm stuck. E. And he jumps in the window. I remember that. He's got a fucked up eye like Wilson. Well, he's got, obviously, a missing eye completely. Yeah. I remembered that from when I played it last time. Low on health, grab a snack. Okay, find some food. Alright, so that's how they introduce this mechanic, so probably I'm safe for a while. I own a bacon. Patch you up, but the aftertaste it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. I look like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know it's scary, but you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a Piper, and he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Okay. It's pretty cool. I do enjoy this game a lot, but I don't like playing it. That's just me as a horror, um, really opposite of aficionado. <laughs> Virgin, I guess. <laughs> so she said go up. But that is going down. So. Now I'm pretty sure... You're not supposed to run. Wow, that's cool. Alright, so like, the hand, that part sucks, clearly. Your face... It really isn't that bad. Um, I can't tell if her leg is ink or if that's just on top of her clothing. So let's assume the only thing that is completely inked is this arm. If this ink makes you immortal, which it seems to, unless you get killed by something else of the ink realm, but like... Human problems seem to be gone now. Yeah, you know, that arm that's still functional, you still have, it's just ugly. Like, yeah, that's, that's well worth immortality, I would, I would have to say. Alright, crouch effect. Alright, 
That's a terrible spot to hide. Oh, I see. It's because this is not hiding pool. Well, good thing it doesn't go to nine. We made a ton of noise. Gent parts. Okay, I know it's setting up the ambiance and all that, but like, what the fuck sparked? Nothing? Thank you. Oh my god. This scared the absolute shit out of me, I remember. Fucking pissed me off. Such a great troll. Dude, it got me so good. That shit was so funny. That pissed me off, though. Okay, they're not gonna do it again, right? See, I'd be confused on what that character is, because that wasn't, that wasn't Edgar, right? That's not a spider. That's like a wrecking ball guy. So now I'm going to open the door that he just closed. I, I was just kidding when I said hello. I don't want to meet him. Mm hmm Right. This is what I would do if I were trying to survive. They're not gonna do it again, right? They're not gonna ladder me. Alright.
Okay. Permanently upgrade your stamina or your health. All right. Here's my question, and this is an actual critique of the game. In what fucking world, when you're in a survival situation where there's literally mythical creatures that you do not understand that have morphed your body, do you walk up upon this and go, I know, let me jam my fist through it? Come on, guys. You could have had Alice. Uh huh. Could have had Alice say, like, here's something, you know, like, like, you guys, you, you dropped the ball there. Bendy Starface? Edgar's Duck Duck? Forest the Wolf? Interesting. Okay, so there's clearly keys right there. I do love the art style though. Some bacon soup. Well, gotta figure out which key I'm pressing. Is that where I just came from? <clears throat> Am I confused already? No, oh, you know, if I walk backwards, I can't find anything new to terrify me, so. I don't know why I did that. That would have been a great place to have him just peek through. Um, okay. I guess you're supposed to have that animation of him poking out when you walk over there to search that. Okay. Let me just push it that way. How do I disengage E? How do I have both keys to that lock and to this door? This door is not locked. Okay, so she has superhuman strength now. We'll just chalk that up to the ink, yeah? I don't know if crouching dampens my sound. Smile and shadow got me there. I'm pretty sure that happened last time I played this too. Um, I also don't know if you need to be quiet in this game. I know that was a thing. You needed to be quiet. I don't know if you need to be quiet here. I assume it doesn't matter. They haven't said anything. Ha! Huh. Didn't get me because I didn't see it. Okay. Save game. Employee lounge, animation department. So I'm guessing there's not a chapter system like there was in the last one. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew, and you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Bins, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow 
I wonder if Andre ever came back from Rio. Man. I'm pretty sure I did not get this far last time I played. I can't turn it off. I hear a heartbeat. I don't know. Donut. Hmm. Definitely hearing that heartbeat. Apparently that's locked. Okay, apparently we're going down the fucking clear death path. What do we do? Bust through that? Can I not bust through that? Okay. Something else is going to bust through that. That seems pretty obvious. So we're gonna follow the spider. Okay, there's a little miracle booth right there. This is locked. I somehow have the key for this. Again? This is getting old. <laughs> That's funny. Break the lock. Um, oh, I didn't see you. I'm ready for something different in my career. I built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Open a studio. Looks as like much he's as anyone, a bad day. the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. I, I don't understand. Why he's locked up like that. Here we go. Oh god. I don't want to turn around. If I walk backwards, it can't hurt me. Huh. Well, ain't this a shit experience? <sighs> Not the game. I still enjoy the game. I just don't enjoy the genre of the game. <laughs> I know you're out there. Please answer me. Here we fucking go. Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're alright. Uh, Alice. I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? 
But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Oh, shit balls. That gave me the goosebumps. Can I just hide in there? Where can I hide? Here? Okay. Where'd the spider be? Where'd the pipe be? It must be back over here. My health bar is still up. Dude, I don't want to have to play fucking hide and seek with the pipe right now. I literally don't know. Oh, I could eat a donut. Might as well. Okay, I missed those, so. Mike and soup. Yeah, I literally don't know where a pipe could be. <sighs> I might have to Google it. It can't be that obscure. Okay, I'm pretty sure, like, I know I, I get that bar to see that I have X amount of run left, but pretty sure it does still bring attention to my location. Oh, there's an objective. Oh, it's sticking out of the corpse. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So is this going to be like the projectionist level where he's just walking around?
missing a fuse. Let's see if I can find one. <sighs> He's not fidgeting with the thing he was fidgeting with anymore. So, when I pop out with that opening, he's going to scare me. Oh. I'd be wrong. Okay. Let's look for the fuse. Okay, so we must have to go to where he was. Okay, he's walking around now. The objective's not in here. So what's up with Zoidberg? Well, fuck this game mechanic so hard. Okay, I think he's getting closer. Or not. Okay, there he is. As long as nothing else comes to double team me, this shouldn't be too terrible. Where did everyone go? Why don't they answer? What's today's special? Well, I am no longer having fun. That was some bullshit. <laughs> um, I guess we haven't even got past the first level yet. It is a good thing. That he cannot just follow you in here. He is very fast. He got on me very quickly. So now that we're in here, is it to play a waiting game? This is some shit, man.
Well, I'm glad I didn't get out. I was about to get out right there. All right, so when am I supposed to make the move past him? Am I supposed to stay right here? Okay. Happy birthday to me. Now here he is behind me, right? Well, here we fucking go. Hopefully, he won't notice that there's randomly a door open that wasn't open before. Well, he didn't instantly kill me. Can I stand up? Can I get by him? Like, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm stuck on top of him now. Alright, so can I sprint? It said while in combat, but I don't have combat. Well, at least I didn't get my ass beat too badly, but that was just, I mean... That wasn't even scary, it was just like... I don't know. Uh, it was rather stupid. First off, why do they have that as a hiding option if I can't hide in there? How was I supposed to know previously to initiating combat with something that I can't use that? I don't know. That was obnoxious. Again, I'm not hating on the game. I guess th that one is a bit of a stretch. That's kind of on the game because you didn't have to have that particular mechanic. You could have just not had a box to hide in and I wouldn't have even tried it. Um, last time I played, I was able to hide in a box like that with something nearby. I guess combat hadn't been initiated, but I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to know? That was, yeah, whatever. I said what I needed to say about that, which was a bunch of nothing, so I hope you enjoyed that commentary. That's what you come back for every week. No one's probably even watching this deep into the damn video anyway. Alright. I do like this character design. The Zoidberg features are freaking hilarious. Uh, since I apparently have glowing eyes as well, though, this is... Uh, Rather stupid that he can't see me because we were looking into each other's eyes when I first came into this room. And like, it's kind of hard to, you know, ignore two bright yellow lights staring into your soul. Alright. What? Hide. Is he sucking me off when he does that? Because I heard a bunch of squishy little tentacle sounds. You know what? Might as well just duck. Oh, what the fucking fuck? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, that scared me so bad. Get in there. Oh, you cock-sucking bastard. That's really on me for not expecting that. Fuck, that got me so good, man.
why it got me is because I was expecting him to say something from behind. Um, yeah. I really expected there to be more to that than getting scared by that fucking little bastard. I really thought he was going to be popping out of one of the locked doors and or one of the brick walls that he apparently has the ability to smash through. Woo! Top 10 things didn't need to have happened to me today. That's probably not in the top 10, never mind. Alright. So, what is this guy's pathing? Well, I have no fucking health left. Look at that generous fucking portion that they give you. Just like, hey, loser, you want to try not to fucking die? Well, there's been a lot of waiting around in this level. Okay, he's probably not gone. I think I have to get out, hide behind right there, whatever that sheet metal is. He goes into the room, comes out to the right, I have to go up the left. I don't know how far down he's going. And I literally cannot risk it, so let's skip ahead to the video. Alright, so when he dips around the corner, we're going to jump out, we're going to crouch, we're going to come over here. So he's going to come back out, and I'm pretty sure he's going to come over here to the right, which means that I can duck down to the left. That was risky. Okay, we're going for it. All right. Now, the lights are going to be on, and he's going to come kill me, right? Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. All right. I can only assume he's on the same pathing. Why can't I not get back in the hole? Motherfuck. Where's he gonna get me from? There he is. I can, I can risk it somewhat. So where are you gonna go? Okay, probably wasted a little bit of time right there. Just wanted to be sure. Well, now what? I said get to the gent pipe. Is it through those doors or something? Okay. 
I don't know how to do it. I think he said this is my bat. Wills knows our purpose. What is it? What is it? I don't know what I'm doing. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so what the fuck do I break the lock with? Do I have to take the thing from him? How would I do that? I don't believe. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no health. I have no objective hint. I mean, I, I literally don't know what I'm doing. There's a possibility that this is very easy and I'm fucking up. Doesn't he come in here? Where did everybody go? Why don't they answer me? I don't fucking know. So apparently he's not coming in here. He's going in that next room. So this is a little bit of a safe room. Oh fuck, well I'm dead. Fantastic dude, that's totally badass. Well, you know what, honestly, uh, that's kind of all I can take for right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you join me in the next one. My suffering is immense playing this game. I do not think it's phoned in reactions for a second. This shit is absolutely horrifying to me. So, hope you are enjoying me suffering. And I hope you will join me in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.